welcome back to another auto culture video i hope you guys have been enjoying all the content that i've been putting out in the last uh month or so i know a lot of it has been kind of delayed especially the uh, uh the sevens day video coming out literally a month more than a month after actual sevens day but um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying all the content with the veil side rx7 i know the 86 hasn't been uh up on the videos too much but we'll make sure that happens from now on speaking of which the car is right here all good and healthy very filthy but yeah it's been a little while uh i have been driving it obviously here and there but haven't been anywhere fun with the car for a while because i've been uh, using the rx7 too much so let's go and talk about what we're doing in today's video today is august 6th which means 8 6 the unofficial or official or whatever you want to call it the internationally celebrated 86th day to start this a little bit negatively i was actually very disappointed to see that there are no kind of special events happening this year for 86s so i checked out all the uh, local tracks nico mobara fuji there's no kind of drift track event that's happening for 86th day very very sad i would have loved to see some AE 86s drifting around um and also there's no kind of like show event or anything like that organized either which is unfortunate which means that uh today basically we're gonna go over to the garage where the rx7 is usually parked and then we're gonna head over to tatsumi and daikoku most likely but i think probably only daikoku um i've seen on twitter that there's already been a couple of uh a86s gathering there so let's see what we can find there i think it's quite early still in the morning um what we're gonna do is give this car a quick wash because it's very filthy and then head over to daikoku first and see how it goes from there maybe uh maybe we'll stay out until the night time i don't know about that apparently it's supposed to rain today hopefully not but whatever i'll wash it just because it's kind of embarrassingly dirty right now so let's head over to the garage here we are Looking good. Looking really good. Grab the uh, key to the ARC-7 just to show you something really quickly. We've been working kind of hard this past like couple days on refreshing the interior up a little bit because um, it was kind of worn out and black and just very boring to be honest with you. Um, let me show you what we did. So yeah, we took out all these uh, interior panels and painted them orange as well just to make it a little bit more interesting on the inside and i think that really helped out and the car looks so awesome to sit in now cool let's get back to 86 day because it's time to wash all this filth off of this car and get it back to looking actually silver again And it's all done. Time to uh, dry it off and figure out whatever I killed here didn't come off in the first try. So gotta go back and scrub those guts off. That was probably the laziest car wash I've ever done. I finished it literally in like 20 minutes because I don't know, I'm just not in the mood for washing cars today. Of course, the minute I finished wiping it down, it starts raining. That's so annoying, I just finished wiping her down. Oh well, we knew it was gonna happen. Nothing we can do now. I know how everyone loves this sound and thinks it's absolute JDM. Here you go, ETC machine. I wonder if that's a real Arizona plate on this car. Wow, another thing you don't usually see in Japan is an opal. And we're here and it looks extremely busy. Of course, it's Sunday and it's sunny, the most important thing. Um, right off the bat, I see a lot of cars that are not 86s, but there are 86s as well. Let's go and check it out. 
and we made it out here. There's definitely a lot of 86s, which we're gonna go around and check, but there seems to be a lot of crowns. Like, it's as if they're doing some kind of VIP car meeting today. There's a lot of Celsius like this one, and I see a huge amount of Toyota crowns and some Lexuses as well. So let's go around and check out everything that's happening. It might be a very interesting day today. Yeah. Nice GR86, the uh, 10th anniversary orange with the full uh, TRD aero as well. And then this uh, yellow first gen GT86, I really like this color. Ooh, I wish mine was this color, although I am planning on repainting mine anyways to a different color, but this is still really cool. Love how it pops out in the sun. Similar looking uh, Supra in terms of color. Very cool, but let's take a look at this A86 and I see a bunch more over there so let's walk around and check them out it's 11 coupe very cool oh it's a double it's a two-digit number plate as well so uh, very likely that it's the original owner one owner of this car and the uh, traditional classic Watanabe look very cool oh I used to have these taillights on my previous 86 they ended up flooding unfortunately a little bit off topic very cool to see a completely bone stock RX-7. I literally don't see a single modification on this car. Well, except for like this kind of, uh, what's it called, a removable adapter. Maybe for safety reasons, but that is a great looking car right there. Here we go, lots of A86s here. Looking really nice. Let's look at all of them. A couple more here. This one's just missing the fog lights and the sticker on the side to look exactly like the initial D1. This one's in great condition as well. More and more 86s rolling in and Itasha 1, nice to see. I decided to move my car a little bit closer to all the other 86s to be a part of the celebration. Let's also take a look at this GT86 here. I've seen this guy a couple of times now at Daikoku. Looking like pretty much a full cool racing kit, except for the fenders, which are uh, version three Rocket Bunny as far as I can see. And if I remember the front bumper was as well. Yeah, that's right. So he's got the uh, cool racing rear bumper and then everything else is just version three Rocket Bunny. That's really cool. Wow, this reminds me of my car. A little bit of a more red interior. Look at all these 86s and then look at all these A86s as well. I think that's probably going to be a little bit more interesting to everyone. I think these are the uh, N2 fenders on this Levin. Very cool. I really want that Modelista lip, but they're so expensive. Let's take a look at what's going on inside this one. This one looks really nice and clean. Wow. Nice and simple, nothing too crazy. And then another Panda, well that's not a Trueno, but on old wheels. And I think as we go this way now, we're gonna see some slightly different cars. Let's check out those uh, VIP cars. Not sure how interesting it is to everybody because I think these cars have only been sold here in Japan, but that's a slightly older crown and this is a slightly newer crown, not the latest model, but I believe both of these are kind of like limited edition colors. I do remember this crown came in pink, this green, and a blue like that. So you don't see these too often. It's really nice green color. Um, this would look cool on any like old Sylvia or any other car. It's a really nice kind of metallic green. Not something these cars are usually purchased in. They're usually like black, white, or silver. Damn, look at all these uh, VIP cars. <laughs> It's a huge amount of crowns. I don't know if, uh, I don't think the chassis code has anything to do with 8.6, so I'm not sure if this is just kind of like uh, coincidentally happening on the same day, but that's a lot of VIP cars. This really cool time attack looking uh, garage mock S15 here as well, just before we go on to the uh, VIP stuff. But yeah, the design of this kit is actually really, really so cool. All the carbon looks really nice. The kit is massive. Um, and you get this like super huge wing, which I'm pretty sure would not pass Shaken. 
but this is so cool. Imagine, oh, and he's on slicks as well. Or are those slicks? I think they are slicks. This guy came like straight from the track, holy crap. Take a look at this Century. Wow, this is the first generation Toyota Century. It almost looks like a lowrider rather than a VIP car on these uh, wire wheels. That looks amazing. Let's see if we can get close without picking up his music too much and getting copyrighted. That's a massive car. Absolutely amazing. Let's check out what's happening under the hood of this one. Definitely got to be like turbocharged or something. Nope, maybe not. Still uh, naturally aspirated with just the modified intake. Interesting. Nice pink and blue. I'm not sure why it's pink and blue, but pink and blue right there. And then a nice looking GR86 with another stanced out GT86 as some of the 86 guys are heading out, unfortunately. Or maybe he's just rearranging his car. Oh, that's cool. When you go to Daikoku, you can't even take a moment break because something cool shows up while you're in the bathroom or at the convenience store. Like, take a look at this RX-7. Again, full Itasha, full Amemiya kit. Wow. That's actually really cool. Well, after a quick bite and a quick coffee, we can take a look at some of these other cars here as well. I wanted to take a look at this A86 with the ITVs. Heat wrapped exhaust manifold, ITVs. I hope I can catch this uh, leaving the parking later so we can hear what that sounds like. That's really cool. A couple of other cars passing through. Never seen this kind of, uh, I guess you could call it like a racing stripe or a checkered flag. That actually looks really cool. Never seen that pattern done on, a, on an 86 before. Seems like the Popos are angry because there's cars parked in the truck area. That tends to kind of make them quite angry. Has a really cool Super Rolls bike. I think that's the full Redox kit. Love the uh, red wheels on it as well. Sounds pretty good. Just as more clouds are rolling in and it has started raining yet again. So annoying. As these guys are still driving through, scoping out what's happening, I guess. These cars are getting harder and harder to like figure out that they're undercover cops. Now they don't have that big antenna on the back anymore. Wow, it's actually like freaking pouring. I think I'm gonna go get an umbrella. Jeez, it's like a proper downpour now. Now it's completely pointless that I washed the car. Oh well. That's a really cool Honda Accord that's leaving. And as soon as the kind of rain lets down a little bit, I'm gonna go and check out that NSX right now before that guy leaves as well. And just like that, the rain has let off. Seems like the NSX guy's just about to leave, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna be able to get photos of it. But we will get to see it. Uh, very quickly up close and hopefully it'll make a really cool sound while it's driving off. That's a really cool car. D37s of course. Damn. Holy crap, take a look at this Itasha GTR. We're gonna go and take a look at that as well. That looks super cool with the owner heading over to the toilet probably. Let's take a quick look at this. We don't want to dilute the 86s too much, but yeah, not often do you see Itasha R34 GTRs. This looks really cool on these uh, NK wheels with a full like endless brake upgrade. Apart from that, I feel just a couple of like uh, Nismo mods and that's about it. Looks very simple yet really, really cool. For some reason I said endless, uh, that was a mistake, they're Brembos, my apologies. I do also want to see this a little bit up close. At first when I saw it from far away I thought it was like a Cedric or a Gloria, but it seems to be a SEMA, so this is a Y32, Y32, sorry, uh, Nissan SEMA looks super cool. Love this color as well on Equips. 
just don't see cars like this anymore. And sorry, I guess I don't know my chassis numbers. If the uh, number plate is anything to go by, the SEMA was a Y31, not a 32, but so cool with the curtains in the back as well. Amazing. We're now heading out of Daigoku, but don't worry, we're gonna come back in about one hour. We're gonna do something that's called weird flex, but okay. Yep, you guessed it right. Let's go for a drive in the Vale side. We made it back to Daigoku just in time for this uh, crazy track S15 that's heading out now. Let's see what it sounds like. Well, he scared the shit out of me earlier when he started the car I was walking by. It sounds pretty nuts. It's been about an hour since we came back and nighttime has fallen on Daikoku parking area and there's still an absolutely insane amount of 86s here. I think all of them are new for the most part from what they were here in the afternoon but like this definitely wasn't here. It's a nice mixture of Rocket Bunny and Ings. Very cool. Definitely looking like a lot more A86s than this afternoon which is funny. I really like this uh, cream colored one. I don't know if that's gonna show up well on the camera, but it's not white. It's a little bit creamish. Looks really nice and clean. Definitely a couple of new uh, A86s on this side. Really, really awesome to see so many of them in one place. Just a shame that there was no like uh, track event this year or something like that. Look at this one's almost completely stock. And of course, a lot of GT86 is still pretty much in the background. One of the few cooler GT86s that's showed up so far right now is this Liberty Walk GT86. This guy comes to Daiko quite often, but never get tired of seeing that car. And I think he has a friend here with another one. So two Liberty Walk 86s here today. And of course, the police are out and kicking everybody out just about time. Yeah, everybody's peacing out. That cream colored A86 is so cool. Look at those, uh, I love that little flashing light on the back, the tail light. That used to be like a old school drifting. quick stop at Oi parking area for a toilet break. Every time the uh, Daikoku parking area gets shut down, everybody kind of stops by here on the way back until the police come here and shut it down. 